controversy with making the top two seeds go to different sectionals and the travel that would create. And that's exactly what happened in the D3 Ada district. Lima Central Catholic, the top seed, defending state champs, choosing to play at St. Mary's instead of 45 minutes away in Finley. T-Birds get the winner of Parkway and Riverdale. Delphish Jefferson also picks the first round by Jeff Katz will take on Coldwater Hopewell Loudon winners. The Chieftains make that long trip to St. Mary's to play the late game on the 3rd of March. So with LCC at St. Mary's, the two seed St. Henry has to make the hour and a half trip north to Finley. The MAC leaders will play the winner of Elmwood and Allen East while Carey and Van Wert square off on the 4th, followed by Liberty Benton and Lakota. Sectional finals then on the 6th with winners advancing to the Ohio Northern University District on the 12th. More from D3. Otto Glandorf's the top seed in the White House District. Titans will play the Montpelier Evergreen winner up at Wassey on that first Friday. Liberty Center, Tenora playing for the right to meet Paul in the next round. District Tournament at Anthony Wayne High School. In the Defiance sectional for that district, Bluffton and Van Buren, an opening round matchup in Defiance. A long trip for both of them. They're the late game on the third. Should be a good one. Swanton awaits that winner three days later. And of course, all those brackets feed into the Bowling Green Regional, a place our next guest knows very well. Matt. Thank you, Andy. Joined by LCC head coach Frank Kill, and of course, the big win over OG at Bowling Green last year in the regional finals. But Andy made mention of it. You guys got the one seed, which means you got to choose which sectional you wanted to go to. You chose St. Mary's. What went into that de decision? Well, it was a little closer for us, but uh, you know, we, we played there last year and things went uh, pretty well for us. So, um, you know, that was, uh, that was probably the deciding factor and you know, their, their facilities are pretty good. How do you feel about your overall draw? Obviously some good teams in this section. Well, I mean, I, I can't complain, you know, when uh, obviously St. Henry, Henry had to go away from us, but also Cary and uh, Liberty Benton too, you know, the two, three and four seed went, went north and, mm -hmm. uh, you know, looking forward to the opportunity to play against Parkway or uh, Riverdale. Last time I had talked to you was right before the Lima Senior game and a lot of hype and excitement surrounding that game. It didn't go your way, but what, what did you learn about your team in, in that game? Well, I mean, we, we didn't quit. You know, we got down early, you know, and big, and uh, we, didn't, we didn't stop fighting. And that's what, that's what you want to see in a team, and that we, we continue to compete for 32 minutes. And, you know, obviously the first quarter we, we dug a big hole, but, uh, you know, we continued to fight, and I think we cut it to eight, you know, with the ball a couple times, and, uh, you know, that was as close as we got. But we continued to fight, and, and that's, what you wanted to, uh, that's what you want to see out of your team. Without a doubt. Before we get to the tournament, you've got three tough regular season games remaining with Spencerville, Salina, and Elida all at home. How are you going to use those games to help your team get ready for tournament play? Well, we talk about, you know, hey, this is a tournament you know, environment. Uh, that's what you want to play and teams that get you ready. You know, it's, uh, you know, it's not going to be a cakewalk. And we want to be playing at the, the highest level, you know, obviously on Tuesday night. And, uh, you know, three of these games are home. Uh, you know, we played a lot of games on the road, and, yeah. and we definitely want to continue to play at the highest level because we, we learned a lot last year that uh, you know going on the road and, and sticking together as a team is going to going to you know win some games, and uh, you know I think that uh, we're we're ready for the challenge, and and I'm really excited for our group right now. Our, our team is playing you know pretty well. Speaking of going on the road, you guys traveled to Grand Rapids recently. The obviously Kettering flying to the hoop tournament. What do you take away from those tournaments where you get some different opponents and you have to travel a bit? You know, tra traveling three three hours and 15 minutes away from Lima is not uh, not easy. Um, you know, yeah. because you, you don't have your fan base, but we had a great fan base that came up there, and uh, we could we, we actually came out you know probably higher than what expected. Uh, you know, we we had a 26 point lead on a on a division you know it was single A up there, which is their biggest division, and right. uh, we were up 26 on them, and I think that was a, a surprise by them, and uh, you know not a surprise by us, but uh, we we really came out and made some shots, but we defended, and, and you know when you go play a team on the road that you don't know a whole lot about, you know. You, you stick to what you do every day in practice, and, and that's the way that you know we practice hard. And you know that's what uh, I think that's what really won it is that we continued to compete for for a good 32 minutes that game. Yeah, it's always what you got to do. Going forward, Trey Cobbs and Dantes Walton have really emerged as the leaders of this team. How much are you going to need to rely on them to get back to the shot and scene center? Well, you know there are two leading scorers, and you know they they learned a lot last year from Martiz Kimbrough and Xavier Simpson, and uh, you know they realize what what the importance of, of taking care of the ball. Um, offensively, but also playing defense, and you know, obviously, you know, defense wins your championships, and you really have to buy into it. And they know that uh, you know they are two leading scorers, but they're also the two guys that we have to have on the floor to get defensive stops. So, you know, I really look at them, and I really you know rely a lot on uh, those two with Jake Williams to, right. to make a lot of uh, 
uh, leadership calls. And, you know, it's not a lot of times, you know, during the game, they're going to have to make the decision to, to, to call out a play or um, to, to make a defensive adjustment. So, you know, I really look to them, you know, to, to make, take, take some leadership roles because I can't call it all. And because it com coming from a player, it might mean a little more. Absolutely, and they, they have that experience. Well, best of luck to you, Coach, and thanks for stopping by. We'll be watching as you make your way through that section. Andy, let's send it back to you. All right, thanks, Matt. Thanks, Coach. Quick look at the Southwest Dayton Sioux District, the Tip City portion. Anna opening their postseason against Madison on Friday the 27th. Of course, they start a week earlier in the Southwest. Winner plays Arcanum, while Versailles, seated third in that district, has 16th seated National Trail Tuesday, March the 3rd at 730. That is a Tippecanoe. High school.